Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now this week, I'll be finishing up the Horror Sound Machine, or Apprehension Engine. In this video, we'll be putting the finishing touches on the machine and then seeing what kind of sounds it can make. Now one of the final touches is to install all the strings that will be on the machine. And we'll start out by putting in the block to hold the strings that will go over the hurdy-gurdy wheel. Now there are many ways you can do this. I'm just going to use a large block of hardwood. And this block will be securely attached to the side of the machine using four screws. You really don't want to glue any of these last pieces in as you might want to take them off if you have to do some maintenance on the box. And after installing the block, just want to make sure that the rod that goes to the hurdy-gurdy wheel spins freely. And then it's just a matter of inserting the strings. Now I did have a problem here where one of the strings didn't go through the hole, so I had to drill it out a little bit more. And the strings I'm using to go over the hurdy-gurdy wheel are cello strings. That's just a matter of attaching the strings to the post and tightening them down. Now next, I'm going to install the bridge that will hold the strings for the small guitar neck. And to make sure that it lines up with the guitar neck, I just took a scrap piece of wood that was long and straight to line up the bridge. And then once it was lined up, I just used a square to make sure that it was square to the box, and then just marked to where I want to pre-drill. Now, especially when you're installing small and delicate things like this, you usually want to drive the screws in by hand. You don't want to use the electric drill for this. Now the next thing was to cut out the hole and then pre-drill to install the humback pickup. Now the humback pickup and the piazzo pickup each has two control knobs, one for volume and one for tone. Now I will also have to say that the piazzo pickups that I originally put in there just weren't working. So I got some new ones that only had one control, a volume control. So at the end of the video, you'll see that there's two knobs missing. Now I also needed to install a handle to crank the hurdy-gurdy wheel. And it's pretty simple, as you can see. It's just a block of wood with holes drilled on each side, one to go on the shaft and one to go on the handle. And the handle is just a dowel that's been drilled all the way through, and then it has a quarter inch bolt going through it. Now it's time to insert the reverb tank. Now I won't say that I messed up, but I should have inserted the reverb tank earlier because I actually had to take the humback pickup off in order to get the reverb tank in there. And now you can see why I made that notch in the frame. That's so I could actually plug in the reverb tank. And now it's time to install the strings for the small guitar neck. Now my measurements were a little off and I originally wanted to use violin strings, but they weren't long enough. I had made the neck too long. So I'm actually using guitar strings. Now it really doesn't make a difference what type of strings you use on this. And as with a lot of woodworking projects, it's your project. So there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. Now that basically completes the build. The only other thing I added, I added a couple of rods up on the top for noisemakers, and I added some rulers in the front as noisemakers. And now, let's hear some of the noises you can make with this sound machine.
Well, that does it. This horror sound machine or apprehension engine is done. It's complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this three-part series in building this machine, this apprehension engine, this sound machine. And please give this video a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.